Hey everybody, I'm John Luke Seipke, and here's what to expect in Pokemon Go. The main crux of the game is to get out of your house and explore, walking around and finding Pokemon to catch. There will be Pokemon in a variety of places, but they tend to be tied to specific locations. So if you're looking to catch a Pokemon like a Magikarp, you should probably head to your nearest source of water. You don't fight the Pokemon, you simply swipe a ball to catch them. There is a little bit of skill involved, and you even get some bonus XP if you do something like a Curve Throw. You can, of course, evolve your Pokémon using something called Evolution Shards, which you get by collecting multiple of the same kind of Pokémon. Like in the original games, items are just as important, and you get these by visiting key landmarks in your local area. Going to these locations allows you to collect Pokéballs, potions, and even eggs. The egg mechanic is incredibly clever because it actually functions the exact same way it does in the games. Every egg has a certain distance tied to it, and you have to walk that distance before the egg hatches. Some landmarks are also home to gyms, which can be controlled by one of three teams. If you own the gym, it's your goal to beef up your Pokémon to make your gym stronger. If you're a member of one of the other two teams, your goal is to work together with other players to take down a gym so you can claim it as your own. The back and forth struggle is designed to encourage you to get out and keep exploring, checking out places and controlling territories. Only the first generation of Pokémon will be available in the game at launch, but the team is looking into adding more later. Let us know if you're excited for Pokémon GO, and for more updates on the game, stay tuned to GameSpot.